All right, let's build a Lego. Create new design. And I would start off with a piece, just a block. And let's give it a dimension of, I don't know, twice that. Let's If you click right here, it'll leave these open. And if you make it like 20 by 40, that's about right. That's just the size I want to build. And probably not quite that tall, like half that. Yeah, so there's the beginnings of the block. And now let's put these things on it. Although, if you just drag it onto the work plane, it's going to land wherever it's going to land. And possibly easier way, depending on how you know what you prefer, is to grab this work plane tool and place it right on here. That makes the surface temporarily be this. And if you hit F, it'll zoom in. So let's drag this, and now you'll see that it, instead of having to lift it up, it's actually already up there. So I'm going to hold Shift and shrink this. And then I'm going to try to decide, by turning over this way, try to decide how big I want to make these, because it's kind of a judgment call. I think I like that. I like that it's two squares in. Actually, let's go down one. I'm using the arrow key in case you didn't know. So if I make it that big, it'll be two um, pixels or whatever, two grids from the middle and two grids from the side and all that. So I think I'd like that. And how tall to make it? I don't know, maybe like that. That seems a little too tall. Three looks good. So I'm going to hit Control D and then arrow key to the right. <coughs> that puts it, yeah, right there. And if you hit Control D again, it's going to make one over there, which is not, not what we want. I'm going to select both of these by holding Shift while I click them and hit Control D. And then I'll arrow key that way. And let's decide how far we want to make them. Let's try Control D again and again. Hmm. Now I'm holding Shift and right clicking so I can move this way. Looks like we end up five pixels from the end if we do it like that. And maybe I'll grab all of them. I'm going to tilt like this so I can grab all of these. And I'm going to group them. And then I'll bring it back and I'll left arrow key. So if I go like that, that makes it, hmm, one side is three pixels and the other side's four. I'm just looking right here, three and four. So that's just unfortunate. Legos are symmetric. And I guess what I would probably want to do is just back it up to there. And let's see, these... Take, I know I'm taking a lot of time to deliberate. These are actually three pixels away from each other, so maybe we need to click on them, ungroup, and then I'll just grab these and an arrow key to the right, and then just one. Now grab these and arrow key to the right, just one. Basically, I'm trying to get them all to be two pixels away from each other. So now we have. I guess we have four pixels in between here, but we got two, 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 and two from the end. Therefore, I can grab this and just bring it over so that it's like that. That doesn't look too bad. Yeah. And of course, it's just a judgment call, how you want to make it. Um, now it's time for some letters. So I'm going to grab the work plane and this time put it right on top of that. Grab some letters. Bring them over. It's way too big. It's upside down. Let's hit home so it flips us around. And then I'll hit F so it zooms in. And I don't want that complicated looking text. I want sans or something. And I'll hold shift and shrink it down. You don't want to go too far. It'll flip over. So that's pretty good for now and I'll, uh, maybe I'll try to move it into position before I do much more to it. Let's start in the top left. Okay, zoom in and I'll hit shift and right 
arrow. Now I think I'll hit minus on the keyboard and rotate a little bit. And now let's try, um, if I use arrow keys, it jumps that far, which is a little too far. So I'm going to situate myself. I can see where I want to center it, but we might have to edit the grid. We might have to go to 0.5. That way when we arrow key down, hmm, that's even a little too much. Maybe we got to go to 0.25. That should probably do it. That looks much better. And probably a little to the left as well. Uh, that's too far. So gosh, I'm going to have to go to 0.1 maybe. I'm just trying to make it real perfect, you know, or as close to perfect as possible. I guess that's probably better because if you judge how far the T is sticking out on each side, it looks pretty symmetric right there. So now I'm going to go back to one because one millimeter is kind of the place I like to keep it. And then I'll arrow key over. And because I'm on one millimeter increments, it should yeah move the right amount. And since now I did that with a control D move, if I hit control D again, it's going to show up over there. And if I hit it again, it will show up over there. So that makes it pretty easy. And actually, you know what? Why wasn't I thinking? I'm going to undo those things. Control Z if you don't know what I'm doing. I forgot to change the text. Got to say Lego. Double click, Lego. Whoops. Caps lock, Lego. Up. It's not staying in caps lock. And, and that other text is still there too. Let me delete this one. Oh my God. I'm using a Mac and the mouse is really touchy. Can we change that to Lego and make it all caps? Lego. There. Much better. All right. Now, are we still centered? Mm, looks, oops, uh, looks okay, but hit F and zoom in. I think I'm I think I'm going to want to adjust it again because I'm just looking at the space sticking out over here versus sticking out over there. And like I said, I mean, we don't have to be this picky. I'm going to go to point 0.1, but I just feel like being this picky. All right, so that looks pretty good to me, I think. A little bit of the side on there. All right, so I'm going to hit Control D, and I'll go back to one millimeter so I can arrow key over and... Oops. Okay. Arrow key. Now I should be able to back out and just hit Control D a couple times. Whoops! No, it didn't do it. Darn it! Sometimes you don't get what you want out of that. And there it goes again. Usually it will actually. I don't have an extra one here, do I? No, not an extra one there. No. Nope. Not an extra one there. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, I just moved it out of the way to see if there was a duplicate. And then I hit Control-Z real quick. Um, I think it's important for you to be able to do that quickly and move with confidence. And once again, I'm looking at it from the side so I can grab just those. And now that they're selected, I'll hit Control-D and arrow key down. And there we go. Pretty fast. We've got... A Lego. Uh -huh. Now we can put the work plane back by grabbing this and just dropping it anywhere over here. It'll go back to normal. So there, Lego. And that's it.